I am the Lorax, I speak for the bees. Your pesticide use makes us wheeze. The poisons make them sick. This is not just perhaps. And when they bring them home, the whole colony can collapse. The bees are the bellwether. They're dying in droves, which soon may lead nothing growing in the groves. If the food and water are poisoned, what are we going to eat? This is important to everyone, not just the elite. But I also speak for the butterflies and birds and people like you. Too many are getting sick and weak and dying too. They're made by Monsanto, Sargenta, DuPont, Dow and Bear, who are in it for the money, so you know they don't care. They're pushed onto farmers to support GMO crops, who are lied to and told they're the tops. These chemicals, these GMOs, these lies are ingested while being told that they're FDA approved and tested. They're packaged into foods that people eat every day and told to feed the world there is no other way. You are told they're safe, you're told they make foods cheap, but into their experiment they want you to leap. Not knowing or caring what it does to your health, so as long as it increases their shareholder wealth. Still, so many people are unaware, because there's nothing on the labels. So even when you care, you don't know what's on your tables. You cannot rely on the government powers that be to protect the f everyday folks like you and me. They are only worried about their next round of elections. And of course, Big Ag has corrupted those selections. I know that this may seem like endless chatter, but let me assure you the words and actions, they do matter. I often spoke to ears that seemed deaf, from my barber to my banker and even my chef. I often thought there was nothing I can do, but then I found ma'am and my like-minded folks like you. So I marched and I spoke and my louder my voice to tell people, yes, you do have a choice. I tell them to learn more and encourage others to follow, to demand to know what's in the foods that they swallow. When shopping, I tell them to vote with their money. I also tell them where they can find some raw local honey. So I'm here today to give it my best and to leave you with one word, unless. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, Nothing is going to get better. It's not. So catch. Sorry. <laughs> I'm letting these fall. Hopefully it's not the last of them all. They're organic, non-GMO seeds, because food freedom is what everyone needs. Some are for you and some are to share. Give them clean water and feed them fresh air. May every home have a garden that does not lack, and maybe the bees and their friends will come back.